President Biden is now directing an interagency team to study unidentified objects that were shot down over the U.S. and Canada. As Caroline Shively explains, it comes as recovery teams work to recover all of the wreckage. U.S. military officials remain on heightened alert after shooting down three unidentified aerial objects over the weekend, including one that crashed into Lake Huron on Sunday. The president, with the recommendation of his military leaders, directed them to be taken down. Administration officials say the three objects likely traveled over sensitive military sites, and analysts couldn't rule out if they were conducting surveillance. These objects do not present a military threat to anyone on the ground. They do, however, present a risk to civil aviation and potentially an intelligence collection threat. They'll know more once recovery is complete. There's a joint U.S.-Canadian uh, effort to make sure we keep eyes on that, that equipment and pick it up. This follows the downing of a much larger object thought to be a Chinese spy balloon off the South Carolina coast on February 4th after officials tracked it across the U.S. It was 200 feet high. It had a payload uh, bay and a surveillance bay. Uh, we've been told the numbers two, three, and four uh, have none of those things. Navy crews have been able to recover some of the payload from the Chinese balloon, which teams are now piecing together at the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia. There's a lot of things that can be attached to a balloon. Uh, electronic magnetic pulses, for instance. You see chemicals. There's a lot of things that can uh, be attached to the balloons. So we need to take it serious. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.